Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Baldur's Gate 3. That's right, Larian Studios has officially dropped Patch 6. And from what I can tell and all my research it looks like we have pretty much a brand new game. I mean, it's not a brand new game, but visuals have been improved. We have a new character and we have a lot to talk about. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right, let's jump right into this. Right now, we are on the website PC Games and title this article Baldur's Gate 3 Patch 6 brings the Sorcerer D&D class and a new region. Now, let me be clear. Yesterday, Larian Studios did a two hour stream on Twitch. It was very entertaining. They showed off gameplay. They showed off the new region. So if you want to check that out, it's linked in the description. If you're just looking for the Cliff Notes version. I've got you covered and I've got the new trailer for you. OK, so let's see what's going on. As outlined in the patch six notes, the Sorcerer class, a familiar one from the game's Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition source materials, coming to Baldur's Gate 3 with two subclasses, Wild Magic and the Draconic Bloodline. The first of these is all about embracing chaos and manipulating the forces of chance to gain an advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. Now, a lot of people are excited about the source, okay? Everybody. Not everybody. Most people really like the Sorcerer class, all right? With the possibility of triggering some random effects in the process, Larian offers some examples such as, which sound pretty wild, setting everyone nearby on fire or gaining a teleport bonus on actions. Ooh, sounds good. The Draconic Bloodline Sorcerer, meanwhile, is, as its name suggests, all about drawing on powers of the Dragon ancestors these are powers based on wielding fire frost acid lightning poison to deal damage this class additionally gets access to a spell that channels their ancestor so for example red dragon offers a burning hands option there'll also be unique dragon scales cosmetic options for these characters we gotta have you gotta have the right cosmetics it's actually pretty important as long as you don't have to pay for them the range of sorcerer spells added with patch six for the new class are as follows. And this is for Lorian Studios. Horrific Visage, Enlarge slash Reduce, Chromatic Orb, Cloud of Daggers, and Crown of Madness. The sorcerer also gets access to their own signature feature called Meta Magic. And this is something that is pretty cool. I have to say for BG3, I really like Meta magic, which lets them change up their spells, lets them change up their spells while in the midst of battle, which sounds pretty cool. The aspect you can customize includes things like chosen spells range and duration. You can also add effects like the power to bop two enemies with your magic at once. OK, the new trailer for the forge, the new region now during their new panel. For patch six again, which they streamed yesterday, which is in the description. The whole goal of that stream is them playing game pay, gameplay on their way to get to the new area, the new region. Can they make it? You got to watch to see for yourself, but enjoy the new trailer, of course, in 4K. But first, a quick 20 seconds from me. There's plenty more to come in this video, but first, if you're new here, welcome. Obviously, you have stumbled upon the coolest ARPG site on YouTube, so please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know anytime I drop a video. We also have a full merch store on the channel available under the store tab. Lastly, we have officially dropped memberships for the channel, five tiers available. It is the best way to support me and my journey on YouTube. As always, thank you all for the support. Here lies an ancient place 
buried beneath the underdark. The secrets buried within will grant immense power to whomever finds them. I shall walk with you. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> used to create the most fearsome weapons and armor Faerun had ever seen. But it has been dark for thousands of years. One more step and a blow is to choke. Which bastard stole my glory? Prove your faith. Strike him down. Enter at your own peril, sorcerer. Now, when you see that sorcerer class new region, that is literally the tip of the iceberg because there's so many other changes. Just combing through the patch notes, this patch is massive. That is why Larian Studios is literally saying it's going to feel like a new game. But there's something else that is coming with patch six, and that is visual improvements. And what I'm going to do is actually play the intro from yesterday's panel. Again, this is a couple times I've said it. It's linked in the description below if you want to watch it for yourself because Sven talks about what's going to what's coming in patch six. But more importantly, he shows off visual differences, what it was to what it is now. And it is very eye opening as far as the graphical improvements that BG3 has made in its one year in early access. So that's it. Patch six is officially live right now for Baldur's Gate three. You can go get it and play it as we speak. But I want to know your opinion. Aaron, ah, this game's been in early access forever. I'm sick of it. Or is it this looks amazing? I can't wait to get in and play. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure you've heard by now that I have officially started a Twitch streaming on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Sundays, having so much fun with the ARPG community. I give away a game every single stream. We chat, we talk, I answer questions, we make build guides together. If you'd like to go there and support, first link in the description. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,200 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. And by the way, every Saturday night on my Discord is now Community Night. On Mondays, I put a poll on YouTube and put a poll on Discord. Five game options. Whatever the community decides is the game we play together. Again, Discord link in the description. I hope you all enjoyed Patch 6 new panel video on BG3. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Sven, take it away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Panel from Hell number four. We're here today to celebrate the sixth update for Baldur's Gate 3, Patch 6, which is about to release. As a matter of fact, it's going to be releasing right after this stream if we are successful in the goals that we set for ourselves today. Now, Patch 6 is a very large pack, uh, patch. It adds a lot of improvements, a lot of changes to the game, which has now been in early access for a little bit over a year. If you compare the game that is going to be there today, after we launched Patch 6, to the game that launched a year ago, uh, it is literally astounding how much development has been done in what has arguably been a very difficult year. Uh, if you don't have time to go through the enormous list of patch notes today, then there are four things that you should remember about patch six. The first one is that today we are releasing the Sorcerer class. Now, the Sorcerer class is a very, very cool magic class. I mean, I would say it's probably my favorite class now, but I said the same thing about the Druids on the previous panel. But still, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with the Sorcerer, and we are going to be looking at it in depth today. We're going to have a fairly lengthy multiplayer gameplay session together with Nick, our lead systems designer, and we're going to try to abuse and use the Sorcerer class to uh, achieve some goals which are actually almost unachievable. Now, that's the Sorcerer class, but that's not all. Uh, we are also launching today a whole bunch of new weapon actions. Weapon actions are the things you get when you equip 
uh, an item, uh, for instance, in the previous patches, if you were to equip a bow, you were going to get a pin down. Now you're going to see that if you're proficient in a weapon, you're going to get access to some more of these weapon actions and that they add actually a whole bunch of extra tactical depth to the game. So we'll see examples of that today. Thirdly, and that's going to be very clear when you're going to see what BG3 looks like now, there's been an enormous graphical overhaul. Uh, the uh, artists and the engine teams have been uh, operating in secret for quite some time, a whole bunch of technology, and so they bundled all of that together for patch 6, and when you see the combined result of all of these changes together, you basically get a completely different game. I have been uh, playing and playing patch 6 over and over, and every single time I'm just like, this, this looks so good now. I keep on rotating my camera, taking screenshots, looking out at vistas, because it sometimes is so incredibly beautiful and atmospheric. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you will see lots of examples today, but uh, even if you're going to play through familiar areas, uh, even the tutorial when you start up uh, BG3 with patch 6, you're going to see uh, quite a lot of good changes.